Installation of the Hyper 612 PWM is very simple. Uh, first step is going to be to affix your brackets to the base of the CPU cooler via four screws, in this case AMD, Intel brackets, though a bit wider, use exactly the same setup. Second step, you've got four rubber mounting grommets, which actually provide the spring, believe it or not, which will affix over your four mounting holes. Like so, very simply. Uh, there's a little bit of sticky to them, so they go in without a problem and stay attached. After applying the thermal grease, of course, the cooler will just go through like so. With the cooler held in place, you can see the four studs from the mounting clips coming through the motherboard, the back plate, slide over them into place, and it's a simple matter of four nuts to hold the cooler into place. And with all four nuts in place, you can use the provided adapter, screwdriver adapter to tighten, of course diagonally, tighten one, two, three, four, and through the process once again until the plate is secured. With the CPU cooler in place, we can simply use the quick fan clips to attach the fan to the Hyper 612, plug in the fan, and the 612, Hyper 612 is all set to go. Um, once again, not a small cooler, not a gigantic cooler. It does stand tall at 163 millimeters, so you're going to need to check clearance there. But you've got a good amount of space around the cooler itself. It doesn't have a really wide footprint. Uh, the fan does, but you've got good clearance over the RAM slots. So with standard size RAM, it's not going to be blocking anything. So 800 to 2000 RPM fan. So you can have your choice between quiet or extreme cooling and nice, quick, clean, easy installation.